I have been wanting to come out to the ship since, we first found out you had COVID cases on here. I was actually planning on being here last Tuesday after I went to see the Mercy off in Los Angeles. Oh I want you to know that no one in my level has been ignoring this situation here from the very be beginning. I reached out to your CEO through my chief of TAF very, very early on in this crisis. On Monday, told him that I wanted to come out to the ship, and if it would be okay or if it would be too d disruptive. I told him that because I wanted to be able to help, if there was anything else he needed as this massive effort was underway, to get you guys healthy and clean and safe. He waved me off, he said he felt like things were under control. He had been concerned a day or so before that things were not moving quickly but things, he still w entered to get more beds but he didn't think it was necessary. He also talked to my chief of TAF and emailed back and forth with him. On Monday night, he sent the email, and that email went out to a broad audience of people. I know that I mentioned that it was over 20. We believe that it was 4 to 2 even far more than that. And immediately it was picked up by the In Francisco Chronicle, which published sensitive information about the material condition of a naval warship. If he didn't think, it was my opinion, that if he didn't think that information was going to get out into the public, in this information age that we live in, then he was a too naive or too stupid to be the commanding officer of a ship like this. The alternative is that he did this on purpose. And that's a serious violation of the Uniform Code of Military Justice, which you are all familiar with.